Okay, this is the uh, last training of this course, so let's go and uh, complete the website. First of all, we create a menu and a background and the title with old father of uh, width of 100% and the height of 100vh. Okay, nice. Uh, now next, uh, we create a display grid with the two items. But uh, we forget to create these before about the page. Let us start now, we go in a VS Code, we have a section of uh, next father, which is about page. But we must uh, put a block page uh, before it, uh, create a section here, and let the uh, call uh, with a simple name. Section, a uh, presenter, okay, I, uh, I use a block father or a block, uh, or a block for the name, it must be a section that I teach you how to use it uh, when we go uh, when we go to the next uh, dev uh, box and we don't need to style a section anymore uh, so that's good now as we name it as you can see of this website we have a display great again with the two item that's uh, good the first item of a display grid is a text to show the title and the some text Next item is our real job, as you can see we have image and the title of a blog and some text with a button a link. Now in a blog page we see a space in image and the text and as you can remember we can use a display flex to space to div but in a style I see he use a position instead of a display flex or grid. And I don't think we need a position because we have a display and a display uh, is easy to use it. Trust me, I will show you now. Okay, after we create a block folder, inside our block folder, let's uh, create a block text of the uh, first item in a display grid. Let's uh, give the same title and the same text. Uh, let me create it. Okay. Now copy the name, now copy the title and uh, paste it, copy the description, okay. This is uh, our uh, first item and the second item uh, we need to put uh, two div uh, for it. Why? First div we need to create a grid to have all item of this grid go down like this website. And he used a grid, as you can see, after that, he, he created two item inside the grid. Now, inside the grid, you can use a flex after that, just a type of flex, a direction, and, and be a column. See, it's easy inside the two item and being a flex in, a, some, in the same line. I use a flex action to be in the next line. Now inside it, uh, we create two or three item and uh, we give the same name, no need to change it, because it is same style, okay, I know it a uh, little confusing you know, of what I say, but let me show you how to use it and how to create it. Now after we name a block text, I call it uh, next item uh, be a block sect. Let me create it. Now I don't need to style for now. Why I create it? Because a grid need two item, and inside the block sect, we can create a more div. And if you don't create a block or sect, our grid will be four item. Let me show you what I mean by that after we create a, uh, after we create a block inner to understand what I mean. Okay, I create a block inner inside the block sect. Let me create it. Class a blog in here. I call the two day with the same name. I call it a blog row. You can set the name as you want. Now in a blog row we have an image with a text. And if you remember, we needed to create a div again to not be a bad style. I mean by that, if you just put the image and the text. You will see this is the result if you use a display. We don't want this, so we, we again create a div for image. I call a blog image and I create image with the img. And now set the name of the image. Next, we create again for the text another div. 
and I call a blog text for it and I put a title and the some text okay good now uh, let uh, now let's uh, copy this div two time and paste it one time uh, cool i think we created too much div i know so let's uh, go to solid uh, first with the block folder i call it in a css with a dot because it's a class and the first type uh, display grid next a uh, grid template column press enter and then type it uh, rip it then open the bracket and let be a two and the one of our Always type align item center. And let's use a grid gap to create a space uh, custom between these uh, two div. I type a 15 pixel is good. Let's see our uh, website. Um, uh, we don't have a background for now. Let, add a, let me copy the same uh, background of the next father and paste it. Now when you set the uh, background position of this revert, let be a center. Okay, good. Okay, as I said, if we didn't create a block sect, it will be forget. See what I mean by that? Uh, if I didn't have a block sect, so we must create something to tell grid be just a two item, not a four item. And here come block sect. Okay, see, this is our grid. Now, next, uh, we go with the first item, which is a block text. Now we needed to add the code just to put a text align center to have all the text inside it be a center, not the left or right. And now let's type the title and the text. Okay, now instead of uh, calling block text h1 or block text p, let's just type h1 and the p. Because we don't want to change h1 or p font size or uh, color anymore. Unless if you want to change it or create a custom for it. So when you create a H1, our HTML automatic uh, give a font size and the color as you create it for it. As you create for it. So I type H1 and be a font size. Uh, I set the size like the same title of our uh, alpha other text. Let me copy it. Okay, I found it. I copy and paste it. The H1 is a 2 uh, 5 rem size and the p is a one eight rem color be same white and the font weight you can set what you want okay this is our first item and now let's go to the second item at block text now as you can see next item is a style i2 but we add the code uh, in just in case someday have not error in our website I call him uh, in a CSS a block, uh, block sect. We don't need to install a block in here first. I give uh, him display grid and the grid template column. Repeat be a one, not a two. To know that we don't want to be a same line or two the two boxes, just be a one box. And the line item be center. And a little distance for it, uh, grid gap, in pixel, I think. Now, instead of using a grid, you can use a flex and the type flex direction column to tell a flex not be the same line, but be in the next line. If you want, you can add a flex. Now, let's go to the next. Okay, the next div block row, you can use a flex or grid. I go with the flex. If you want, you can go with a grid. It doesn't matter, it's just like the same. Okay, I call a blog row. And in a blog row, type uh, display flex. Now I'll an item center. Don't think we need to justify to space uh, to div, uh, but let's add a grid gap for a distance. And yep, and here we go, you've done it, uh, your work. 
Now let me add the two image to link it in and install it in a CSS. Now just reduce the size of our image and the soil text and the button in a blog row. And we go to the next section. Let me call a blog image and image. Blog image and image. Now open a bracket. And the max width be 100%. Uh, okay. And the width be 200 pixel. And the height be uh, 20, uh, 215 and 15 pixel. Just like the same website. And here we go. Uh, we done it, uh, guys. Now let's uh, go for the text and the link. Let me add it. Uh, let me add it. Issue two. Copy and uh, paste it. Let us reduce a little size. And the P. Now let us reduce a little size. In CSS. And the PB is same. Okay, about the link, we learn everything about the border, border radius, and the background, and the hover. And now let's use it to create a link. First, let's call a block text uh, A. Block text A. And now open a bracket. Now inside it, font size uh, be a same P. And the next, padding to create a nice background padding. Okay, padding press enter. Okay, top left be a 7 pixel. And the left right be a 10 pixel. Okay, good. Let's add the background to see it. Uh, um, let me copy this color. Okay, this is... Okay, this link. Okay, this is a link. Let's add more. Let's remove this text decoration. Type a text decoration. And press enter let's be a none and uh, let's add the border radius uh, be uh, 20 or 10 and 20 pixel good next you can add the this code for let be a uh, beautiful and uh, be a center just like i said in our process first is a display block let me type it display block and the next add the margin now press enter. Now let it be a zero and auto. Now see it, it's beautiful. Now the color be a white. Color be a white. Okay. And done. Now let's add the hover animation to end of this section. And go to contact page. Okay, just like I said to create a hover, copy this name and paste it. Now add a hover front it. Okay. Okay, open a bracket. Now let the change the background to be black and the color be uh, white, just like the same color. And let add a transition to have effect in animation. Transition, press enter. Mm, let's say one second, I think. And done. Okay. Okay, we done uh, create a blog and uh, we create about page. Now we go with the contact page. As you can see, we have uh, again two div that use a display grid for it. So first we create a section again. Every time you uh, go in, in the next page, we create a section and uh, call a contact folder. And in it contact folder, let be a two div first. Uh, this is square. And the net and the second be a form. I call the first div be a square. Div class square. And the second is a form father. Let be a form father. Class a form father. Okay, just to create a form inside the form father. And we go to a style it letter. I will first type form and inside it we create an input. First, uh, this form input uh, name uh, where the user gave uh, his name, and in a type, let be a name. Name. And I will uh, use a placeholder to show a little dark text in input to user know what uh, must uh, fill a form. Now, in a placeholder, type 
enter your name and now let's go to the next input i copy first input and paste it again but instead of type a name i type an email and the placeholder let me enter your email okay now the third one which is a description we use a text area i always use a text area and it's the input for description because it big and i don't need to start it again so much it's nice to always use it now uh, type a text area press enter the name be a text the cool will be a 35 uh, 135 and the row be uh, 15 I think yeah just like uh, width and height and the last one is a button I tap a button and uh, press enter I place a type for it uh, and uh, let be a button type press enter be a button okay and let inside it of this button be a submit to know that to be submit this form let me type it submit okay we done it now let's go to style it first of all let me create a display grid for a contact folder let me call it in css now just like the same display grid grid template column be a repeat uh, open bracket to one of our and the line item center the line item center and the grid gap be 15 pixel and let's not forget about the background let me copy it okay good i will uh, go with the first item which is a square now in a square let me create a before for it if you don't remember how to create it before i tell you again how before work in a css okay i call a square and now be a before now inside it we need the three code most important code to to show it the before so always don't forget about this uh, three code first is the content press enter and let be empty and let me empty all, always and the second one is a width and the third one is a height would be like the same website be a 400 pixel and the height be 400 pixel too to have a nice uh, square and uh, yep uh, this uh, this uh, this is a three code we must use to show before in HTML now we use a now we use a position absolute to move it where we want to uh, top uh, zero left is zero but before that do you remember that we must say to HTML that our square must be the boss to move it from the first in a square not be not from the body or any section and again so we must uh, first call a square in a CSS then you put a position relative be a boss okay but you see this website instead of relative he uses sticky you can use a sticky instead of a position relative to be stick in the same position and not move it and now we can increase the top and uh, left let me let me do it and yep it up let me increase it Left, let me increase it. Okay. Okay. Now let, let me top be a negative uh, two hundred pixel, and the left be negative uh, two twenty pixel. This is good for be a center. Now let's uh, add a background for a square, and little box a shadow for it. Uh, now we use uh, another color of the background and the box shadow be the same. If a color of the box shadow not fit with our background, then we can change it. Let me try it. I think a background is a good. Let's uh, add the box shadow like the same. But instead of the but instead of the black, let be a white because our background is black and I want to see your box shadow. 
as you can see um that's not good okay this is good now let's add the border radius be a 10 pixel and the transform rotate 45 degree okay good there we go you see this is a square now let's go to the next which is a style form now you can see the form it have a two background don't worry it's easy and and the same code we we'll learn so and we learn it in our learning so i will tell you what is this first the form have a background with a padding of 100 pixels just like a width and the height and the second background as you can see he used before to create it so we use the before c no new code all the same but the design is new okay now you say how we put a before in a form well here it comes the index that you learn in our lesson which is a put this before to be a back or front of the form let me show you how f uh, let me show you how to do it f first let's call a form in a css form and then press enter now as you can see all the uh, input in a center and do you remember how to set the div in a center yep here you come display flex and just uh, and justify content be center and the align item be a center too here we go all item now center of the form now be uh, now and the last uh, to be next line not this uh, not the same line here come a flex direction type a flex direction and now press enter and let me call them here we go and if you forget or didn't learn flex you did this that you see in front of the display now let's move on and add the padding now add the padding be 100 pixel of the top and the bottom and the left and the, for the left and the right be 0 pixel and the width be uh, 415 pixel I think is good like the same website use width okay background let be the same square and the uh, box shadow be the same let me copy it and paste it and the border reduce too of course okay next uh, we create a before form for it how to create it remember to record that must be in a before which is the content and the width and the height so i type a form and now to, uh, in uh, front it uh, type a before okay open a bracket now, now inside it uh, type a content and uh, be empty And the width be like the same website, uh, 400 pixels as you can see. And the height is uh, 605 pixels. Yeah, 605 pixels, I think. Okay, good. Now we add the background, the same form, and the position absolute. But before that, Come back to the form and uh, type uh, position relative. So let an HTML know that the form is a boss. Okay, now um, okay, now we type the top and the left zero zero top zero left zero. Okay, now I increase it in inspect. Um, let increase it or decrease it. I think. Let the top be a, a 13 5 pixel and the left be 13 pixel, I think. Yeah, amazing. Now, if you want to this before be a front of the form, you must use the index. Now, how to use it? I will show you now how to use it. I will tell that this form be a z index 0 as a default, and the form before be a z index 1. Now, as you can see, form before come a front. But our import has a go back. What to do? I will call import and the text area in a CSS. And say to HTML, let be the index 2 to be a front of the before. And here we go, the problem is solved. Now let's not forget about the text area and the button. 
Okay, the index. Uh, okay, good. We add it. Now let's style import an text area. And the button to finish uh, this content folder. Okay, let's go with the input style. I call the import with any dot because it's not a class. And present him. First of everything, let's add a padding. I want to be a beautiful. Then 70 pixel for the top and bottom and 20 pixel for the left and right. Okay, I think it's good. It look good. And the place for is the center. Now let's add the background to be a transparent. Our same color. And now with a border as you can learn in our training. Now I tap a border and press enter. Let be a two pixel for now. And the solid and the color. And the color B, I don't know, let me the same color, hashtag 00FFF2. And let's not forget about the border radius. Yeah, 10 pixels, I think is enough. And let's add the margin bottom for little distance, uh, margin bottom, press enter. And B, uh, 20 pixel. Now the background be a transparent. Okay, now let's go with the text area. I call it in a CSS. Now open the bracket. First add the two first add the border two pixel solid and the color. Let me copy it and paste it. Okay. Now for the radius be the same, be 10 pixel. Okay, let me add the let me okay, let's add the little little padding for it. So be a 10 pixel for the top and bottom and 20 pixel for the left and right. Just for beautiful, let be this text area will be beautiful. And the next margin button be a 13 uh, pixel and uh, background be transparent. And now you see our form before it's a little up because we still off the input and text area. And let me a little down, but, but let me install a button first to move it down a little before. Now let's uh, go back to the website. If you see in a website, if you move a mouse, you see it at the hover. Let add a hover too, I think it's beautiful. Okay, let me copy input and paste it. Now front it, just like I tell you, add the hover. Now he add the box shadow. Let me add the same box shadow. Let add me let me copy it and paste it. Okay, let not forget transition, the most important for the effect little effect okay let add it to text area too text area hover now the copy and paste it here we go and replace text area and done or i think i forget the placeholder in text area let me add it in html i'm sorry i didn't tell you about the placeholder let me add a placeholder in uh, this. Enter your description. There we go. Good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Okay, let's go with a form button. Uh, now type a form button in a CSS. Okay, open a bracket. Now first, let's add the font size uh, B one one M. I think is good. Uh, let's add the font weight five hundred. Okay. Now type a text decoration uh, be a none. Now if you remember add the text align be a center to be a center. Now type a text align and be a center. And okay, next add a padding uh, be a 70 pixel for the top and the bottom and the 17 for the left and the right, just like the same website. Yeah, I think it's good. And now the border radius uh, 20 pixel. Let's add the border radius and uh, press enter 20 pixel. Okay, next add the background and the press enter and the same color be uh, and the same color be uh, hashtag f1 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 be a white. Okay, and the color font be a black. Let me add it. Okay, now. Okay, next you see it have a hover. Let it do the same. Copy this form a button and place it. Now add the hover. 
Now open the bracket. Okay, now let's change the background to, to black and the color be white. Okay, type the color be white. And the next uh, background, press enter, be a black. And do not, not forget about the transition effect. Let me add it in a form button. Okay, just one second. And done it. Now the last uh, thing is moving uh, before for the down. Let the top uh, be. Let me let me uh, let me move it in an aspect of the Chrome. Let the top be. I think. 13 pixel or 13, 35 pixel, 13, 5 pixel, no. And here we go, let me copy the this uh, top and left and uh, paste it in VS code and save it. Okay, and this is the end of the course. Hope you love it and uh, learn it. I see you in the next video. And if you have a question, you can ask in a comment, uh, and because we don't see this course, you don't need a quiz anymore. Just create a website like this, and it's enough. See you next video. Bye.